They'll also they'll be very excited for this week seventeen matchup against the Packers. I mean, it's all come down to this. It seems like it always, you know, somehow works its way into being a game against the Packers. It's all important, you know. It's basically a playoff game. Um, except if they lose, there's still a chance that they could make it in as long as the Cardinals lose. So there is that little bit of a cushion. But, you know, you feel like the Bears would definitely like to to win on their own right, you know, win, get in there, keep carrying that momentum that they've been building. And, man, I have to think that one of the keys to this game is, you know, first off, we have to see how the weather is going to be because if it holds up being like how it is in Chicagoland, you know, right now or kind of just the north in general because I'm sure Wisconsin is getting it too, you know, weather could certainly be a factor in this game. Uh, you know, so it makes me think that, you know, one of the big keys in this game is going to be running the football. I think that, you know, it's been one of the Bears' strengths. Um, and it's very cliche to say that, you know, everyone's all, you know, what's the, what's the key to winning the game? Well, you got to run the football. And, you know, Pound so much, the rock. <laughs> there's so much more to it than that. But in, in very simple terms, you know, they need to stay committed to the run. Um, you know, all four quarters. I, I think, you know, Montgomery really starts to come alive later in the game as the defense wears down. You know, that physicality really starts to shine through. So they really need to stay with that and they need to keep doing what's working. Now, with that being said, I do think that, you know, they may need to try to do a few other little wrinkles, you know, maybe a few plays that, you know, they haven't, you know, really broken out. I'm not saying that the Bears need to do a bunch of trick plays, but, you know, a few things that aren't all over film for this Bears team because I feel like, you know, this Bears offense isn't overly complex to read or to understand. Um, and defensively, I mean, they're going to have to, you know, cover Devontae Adams, you know, fairly well. I mean, he's someone that seems to, you know, no matter what is always getting, you know, loads of targets loads of receptions loads of touchdowns i mean he is just honestly one of the best receivers in the league right now and yeah, he has been for a while but people have really kind of been sleeping on him and now finally it's kind of the year that everyone's really seeing it um and also with uh why am i blanking i know they have aj Dillon as one of their backs who's Aaron their jones back? yeah with jones i mean they're gonna need to keep him you know under wraps they really I think one of the keys is going to be to shut down that run game. And, of course, you know, Aaron Rodgers is lethal passing. But, you know, if they are letting both the passing game and the run game torch them, it's going to be a long game and tough for this Bears offense to keep up. And, you know, that's really what it's going to be. It would be nice if the Bears could control this game and they're not playing keep up. But, ooh, I don't know. Tough to call. Yeah, I mean, the very first thing that we need to recognize when kind of analyzing this matchup is that this Bears team is night and day different than when we met them back in November, late November, right after Thanksgiving. Uh, This team is completely different, you know. It's offensively just on a new level, a completely new level. Trubisky, it's not his first start back. And, you know, defensively, we kind of came out of that little rut we went through um, as it kind of felt like the defense was kind of given up on us towards the end of the season or towards the middle of the season, shall I say. Um, you know, this inception of the Bears offense, as crazy as it sounds, is able to put up many points, you know. And this Packers defense is not great either, you know. We talked about they're better than some of the defenses we've played in the past couple of weeks, but they're still not a high-end defense. They're still very middle of the pack, you know what I'm saying? And especially a lot of what the Bears do is going to work on them. It's going to be fairly, you know, it's not going to be the same difficulty to put up points that we've seen even in previous years when this Bears offense just wasn't really working at its finest. I think that we are going to put up a lot of points. But the one thing that I am scared about, as you mentioned earlier, Reese, is I am afraid of getting into a shootout. This this game, what is going to dis- determine this game, you know, at the end of the day is our defense. If our defense shows up and plays like it did against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, then we can certainly win this game. Like I know that even as a Trubisky doubter, people sometimes think I'm we're we're a little negative, but I think that the Bears can absolutely win this game if this defense shows up to play. You know. There's been a lot of times for the Packers where they've gotten in little offensive ruts themselves. And if we can force them, you know, into maybe a turnover early 
or just kind of th- throw things off or do, do enough things that's kind of causing chaos around them, we could potentially put this offense into another one of their ruts. I mean, the really the key to this game, besides you're obviously right with running the ball, the, the key to this game is Chuck Pagano keeping the Packers under 30 points or at 30 points. And at the if, if Chuck Pagano does that, then I believe that this is a W. I, I believe that the Bears win this game if we keep the Packers under 30 points. What we don't want to do, as you were saying, is get in a shootout with Aaron Rodgers. And that's why, you know, when you're talking about the weather, I think it would absolutely benefit the Chicago Bears if it's just a, an extremely snowy game because then a lot of explosive offense is limited. It's going to become a lot more of a defensive, you know, run the ball type of game. And Aaron Jones is a good running back. Don't get me wrong, but he's not as much of a, you know, physical running back as someone like David Montgomery, I would say. And so really we're going to, we're going to be really having to do that. And it's possible to keep the Packers under 30. There's been many times this season that the Packers have given up just at 30. I mean, the Lions kept them to 31. The Panthers, they gave up only 24. Uh, the Eagles kept them at 30. The Jaguars kept them under 30. The Bucks and the Vikings, they all kept them well under 30. I think the Packers ended up scoring only like 22 against the Jaguars, if I remember correctly. But yeah, and they also, by the way, lost to a team or didn't lose to a team, came close to losing to a team that we just absolutely crushed so this offense it's not miss it's not it's not exempt from these little down spurts that they have so a part of winning this game is going to take hey maybe we catch the Packers at the right time but a lot of it I believe just has to do if both units show up and do their job the way we know they can do I believe the Bears will win the game yeah, and the Bears can't have, like, defensively can't have that bend but don't break mindset. I think that Pagano does need to turn it up, be a little bit more aggressive this week. You know, it, it does kind of seem counter logic. So you'd think, oh, against a good offense, maybe you'd want to play a little more conservative. But, you know, I really get the feeling this defense needs to do something to get, you know, this Packers offense off their game a bit. Like you said, put them through a bit of a rut, make them go through a lull where you can exploit them, you know, maybe go – you know, on a little bit of a run, build up a lead or, you know, whatever needs to be done, you know, you figure they'd be best off if they can just, you know, hit them in the mouth a little bit and maybe give them a little bit of something they won't expect. And I'm not sure if we'll get that. I think that this is a winnable game for the Bears. I know they're going to be playing fired up. It's a big game. Um, You know, they've been playing good football recently. They got momentum. So at least that's working on their side. At the same time, the Packers this is a are great too. Packers. What was that? The Packers are the Packers are have some momentum too after they just destroyed the the Titans. Exactly. I, I was about to say, you know, they're playing a Packers team that's, you know, very good. This is one of the best Packers teams in a while, and that means a lot, saying, you know, basically being that they're usually at the top of this division, you know, commanding things and, you know, are always doing great because of Aaron Rodgers. But this is definitely a dangerous team and you know, I, I think the Bears have a chance. It's going to be close. It's going to be tight. I don't want to say anything as to, you know, whether or not they'll win or lose. Um, you know, hopefully they can go out there and, and, you know, at this point, you know, they've grinded out so hard to get that last wild card spot. It'd be good to see them do it. It'd be good for the team morale and all that. And uh, if not, it's going to be a tough pill to swallow, especially at being against the Packers. Yeah, you know, and it's not impossible for us to lose this game and get back, you know, and and stay in the playoffs. But, I mean, it's definitely going to be a major lull for this team if they do, and it's going to be really difficult. Um, But, man, it's just this this Packers team. The one thing that I think a lot of a lot of Bears fans they some think that just over because we're playing the Packers. I I don't agree with that. You know, the Packers. They have their own issues at times. Uh, their defense, again, is not very stout. Really, another key is just, you know, if the Bears play, if their Bears defense plays the way that they played earlier on in the season, I think that this is going to be a, a, a win for sure. If they play that well. But that, again, that's a huge if. If everything is clicking, that's a huge if. And if the Chicago Bears win this game, I mean, there's going to be a lot of hype on this team going into the playoffs. 
Yeah, that's for sure. And I think that, you know, it'll be well justified hype. I think, you know, heading into the playoffs, if they're able to make it in, you know, they're on quite a tear. And I always say, you know, with the playoffs, go with the hot hand. I think the team that's riding some good momentum is always going to be lethal. And uh, the Bears would definitely be riding some good momentum there, knocking off, you know, the best team right now currently in the NFC. And I think that, you know, it's also a learning experience of battle, you know, if even if they're able to win a, a hard fought game, if that's how it ends up, you know, coming down, if it comes down to the wire, then, you know, this team is really going to be tested and they're going to feel quite, you know, confident. So you always have like a team that's playing with confidence. I think that, you know, the offense being the way it is, I think there's definitely defenses out there that could maybe slow them down, give them a little bit of trouble, but it's hard to count this bears team out, especially because you know, you know, the defense can play at such a high level. And even though they haven't been showing it recently, you know, sometimes the bears just have those games where things come together. And sometimes they have those games where they really don't. I mean, this is a team that, you know, can really go through some phases. And right now they're in a, in a pretty positive phase and it's really just a matter of how much they can ride it out. I'm not particularly scared of anyone in the, in the NFC, probably the team I'm most scared of is probably the Packers, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, uh, I, I think that's fair. Everyone else, I think, is, you know, on a on a decent day on any given Sunday, right? You know, or Saturday mm. with how these wild card games work. Um, the, the Bears could go out there and win. So I think that it's going to be interesting to see how it all shakes out for sure. And, yeah, 100%, you know, if this Bears team beats the Packers and they're going in the playoffs, there's going to be quite a lot of hype. The one thing that I'm afraid of is that the Bears are going to beat the Packers and then draw them the exact same week. Uh, that is not <laughs> that that would not be good for this team because I believe that this Bears team can beat the Packers, you know, one game any given Sunday, as you just said. Uh, and I even believe that they could potentially go out later in the playoffs, potentially beat the Packers. What I don't believe is that they could beat them week to week, week after week. I do not believe that the Bears. Because just seeing how this team is week in, week out, I do not believe that they could put in two consecutive wins against this team. And, you know, that's kind of is is what it is. And I don't want to hype up this game more than it is, but this could quite frankly determine Mitchell Trubisky and Chuck Pagano's job. Nagy, I think, is surely safe at this point, especially with just the offensive resurgence with a quarterback like Mitchell Trubisky. I mean, that is on the play caller. And I believe Ryan Pace is safe as well uh, because he, you know, has a lot of rookies that are performing really well for him, making him look really good with the exception of even Mitchell Trubisky. I mean, he's performing well too. That's making him look better of a GM as well. And his coaching staff is performing better too. So uh, I think he's safe regardless of what happens. But man, if you can't beat the Packers, especially at home, I mean, what what are what are we even playing football for then? I mean, that's one of the most important matchups for, in our season every year. If you can't beat Aaron Rodgers at least one time a year, and this would be our second consecutive season getting swept if they beat us, if you can't beat Aaron Rodgers at least one time a year, you shouldn't be our quarterback, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, I think it's a, a fair way to see if they get into the playoffs. I mean, of course, it doesn't all come down to the game. There's some outstanding scenarios where they could make it in without winning. But I, I think it's kind of fair, you know, go out there, play the best and, and beat them. And you deserve to be in there and mix it up. And if they can't go out there and beat them, then, you know, it kind of just seemed fitting anyway. They couldn't make it in not to have that mentality. It would be like, oh, you know, I wouldn't care if the Bears make it in. It's just kind of like being realistic with you know my expectations i'm definitely gonna be a lot more excited if they can go out there and beat this packers team and you know obviously if they end up losing it then you know i would be far less inclined to think that they could actually go out there and do it again that you know maybe they had a bad game so yeah i I think that's fair and you know funny enough this game is going to kind of really impact our draft pick position as well you know if we make to the playoffs we're clearly going to have a lot worse of a draft pick um and so it kind of might be you know, a little, little uh, poetic justice, if you will, if we end up, uh, <laughs> this game will could potentially determine either, hey, prove to us that we would make the right decision with sticking with Mitchell Trubisky and everything, or uh, it, tell us that we need to find a new quarterback. I mean, it, I don't think regardless of the outcome of if the Bears make the playoffs or if they don't make the playoffs, I really don't think the Bears are in a bad situation. You know, I know we might not have the highest draft pick, 
You know, I know we might not have the most cap space, but this team, you know, yes, there's some older players on it, but there's a lot of young talent. We have a really good GM that's really good at identifying talent late in rounds that makes dra- making picks a lot easier and has done very well with limited draft capital as of late. And it's just, it, 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 it's, there's a lot of optimism around this team. And I just, the one thing that I hope for is that we play well enough to keep that optimism going into the off season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it'd make a huge difference as to, you know, keeping the eyes to the future. I mean, uh, you know, realistically right now, I don't think this is a Super Bowl champion team, but Hey, I mean, that possibility is still out there, but you know, keeping our eyes to the future, it's uh, definitely important. This is still definitely a very important game heading up as uh, it has a big impact on how some of these things are going to align for us. And, Honestly, it's the smallest little things in sports. You know, sometimes the most irrelevant things end up making huge differences. So you never really know that you're experiencing history or that you're making history until, you know, it's passed quite a bit of ways and you can see the effects of everything. But, you know, either way, you know, what happens this weekend is going gonna, is gonna to have a big difference on what this Bears future looks like. Absolutely. And, you know, guys, that's going to be the end of the podcast. This is one of the longest podcasts we've done in a while, actually. Uh, We hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, We hope you guys are subscribed on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, If you're listening on YouTube, thank you just as much. Uh, We're going to be trying to put out, again, more YouTube-specific content. So make sure to subscribe to us there. And, uh, yeah, guys, just thank you so much. Stay safe out there. And, you know, let's hope to get this W uh this weekend i'm excited Uh, you know i'm pumped up and man this has got to be one of the most excited i've been and and honestly optimistic i've been as a bears fan um even going into the 2018 playoffs just the way the way this team is playing so thank you guys so much and we hope you have a you know good weekend good rest of your week and bear down guys bear down Hey guys, like our video, subscribe and check out our bi-weekly podcasts on Apple Podcasts. Thanks.